Hello and welcome to Beer Bellies. I'm Nate. And I'm Ronnie. And with St. Patrick's Day right around the corner, we wanted to preview a couple Irish beers for you. Well, you might be I'm kind of drunk. Alright, speak for yourself. Alright, Nate, I need to get more drunk. What we've got here is we've got Wexford Irish Cream, Smidix Red Ale, and we've got the Guinness Blonde Lager as well. So let's go ahead and pop these open and pour it out and see what we got. The first thing you'll notice when you open the Wexford Irish Cream, that huge fizz sound. There's actually a widget inside of it that gives you the extra carbonation. So let's pour this out, you get to see what it looks like. As it pours, it looks kind of like a milkshake, or it looks like you've poured it wrong and it's super foamy. But what you can actually see here is a lot of action where that foam is going to go ahead and start filtering up and it's going to form a, like that nice creamy head, uh, similar to what you actually see with a draft Guinness as well. All right, next we'll open up the Smidix Red. Smidix Red pours pretty easy. So you can see this has a distinctive uh, red color on it. And lastly, the Guinness Blonde. Now I'll admit that I've never even actually had Guinness Blonde. I'm very excited to try this beer, so I think maybe we should dive into this one. Let's do it. Slancha. Cheers. That is interesting. <laughs> so it's aptly named, it's creamy, it's a very smooth flavor, kind of feels almost like you're drinking something more with a texture of milk. So I almost get like a cream soda vibe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's got that smell. Uh, it's not overly carbonated, which belies that turbidity right. that we saw when we first cracked it open. Um, in terms of it sitting in your stomach, I would say this is going to feel a lot heavier. So if you're talking cost, a uh, four pack of these costs 10 bucks and that comes out to 17 cents per ounce. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's also unique and something that you're not going to find every day. Is there like a real special occasion where you would specifically have this like St. Patty's Day? <laughs> or I would have this with my fish and chips and have it last the whole meal. I wouldn't have this as the beers that I was drinking for the rest of the night. What do you think? Should we try the Smittix next? Yeah, I think so. Let's let's get into these other ones so we can kind of compare. So Smittix is an Irish red. So this is going to be an easier drinking beer. It's not going to sit so heavy in the stomach. You can see there's a little more clarity to it. So the first thing that comes to my mind here is you can taste a darker, roasty, more smoky kind of flavor. Yeah, I was going to say, a little, little bit of smoked meats in my beer. <laughs> That's what you're going for. <laughs> Nothing like a brisket beer. <laughs> Isn't that the ideal beer? <laughs> No, it does. It does definitely have that though. Like, yeah, I think it's like a toasted barley before they uh, load up the malts. So this one is 4.5% alcohol by volume. And I got a 12 pack of the Smittix for $14 and that puts it at 10 cents per ounce. Okay. So this is a pretty affordable beer, 10 cents per ounce. Yeah. Sessionable and affordable. Do you want to try this other one now? Yeah. Let's get into that blonde. Cheers. Looking at it, this is probably more up my alley. Not bad. This is the this is the first time I've had Guinness Blonde. I'm pleasantly surprised. So this beer does go down pretty easy. Uh, it is not overbearing whatsoever. It's got an aftertaste that that kind of lingers a little bit. It's got some good flavor to it. No, it's got a nice flavor, and I don't feel like there's any kind of like unwanted punch after it. Sure, it goes down pretty smooth clean, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is something, you know, maybe you're getting out of that Bud Light realm, right? This might be a good thing to transition to. Especially if the bar is serving Guinness and you're like, pass, what else do you have? Well, you don't have to drink the Green Miller Light. Ask them for a Guinness Blonde instead. You're right. still on that Irish train. Right. But you're going to enjoy it a lot more. Yeah, for sure. And as far as cost goes, I picked up a six pack of the uh, Guinness Blonde for $9, which puts that at about 13 cents per ounce. I think the blondes may come in 12 packs, or you could just pick up two sixers. Maybe they got a two for one going at <laughs> Jewel. <laughs> St. Patty's Day. Right? St. Patty's clearance sale. <laughs> the day after St. Patty's Day. <laughs> That's theory. when you're getting deals. That's when you get your deals. <laughs> Free beer. <laughs> yeah, so if I kind of had to compare these across the table here, I would say bulk drinking should be the blonde or the Smittix. Maybe your meal beer should be your Wexford uh, Irish cream. And then just kind of the difference between the Smittix and the Blonde is if you like lighter beers or if you like maltier beers. These aren't necessarily like we're comparing these to each other. We're giving you options, you know, for St. Patty's Day. I wouldn't rate any of those above or below each other. Cool. Yeah. So when we're talking about ABV, I guess we're looking at this. Uh, Wexford's got 5% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, we're looking at the four and a half for the Smittics. And then we're looking at five. Mm -hmm. 
Again, it's blonde, five. All right, so three quick points here. The Wexford is a unique and pleasant beer. The Smittix is a roasty but very drinkable beer. And the Blonde is a lighter and also very drinkable beer. I'm gonna say the Wexford, I'm gonna call that my cheesecake beer. <laughs> we'll go with the uh, Smittix here, we'll call it my uh, smoked brisket beer. In a good way for sure, but yeah. it's definitely got that smoke flavor to it. And then the uh, Blonde Ale over here, you know, just a nice light beer. As we finish our last few sips here, I want to thank you for watching Beer Bellies. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave any suggested reviews in the comments. Happy St. Patty's Day. Cheers. I don't make smells like that. <laughs> what did you get into, dog? <laughs> oh, that is pungent. This is my beer. <laughs> <laughs>